Yeah, I'm filming right now. I'm looking the camera right in the eye. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, I'm not going to say your name on YouTube. All right, I got to go. All right, bye. Hey guys, sorry about that. What's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh bringing you guys a video showing you my favorite jailbreak apps and tweaks. These are apps that I use on a regular basis and these are tweaks that I've gotten that add some really cool functionality to the iPhone. So let's go ahead and get started. Hit the home button here and the lock screen pops up and you guys will notice that I have a completely changed lock screen. I've added an app called Lock Info which will show my mail my missed calls, my SMS messages, and calendar all on the lock screen. This is something that people have been dying for on their iPhones and have been begging Apple to add. We don't know if they're going to do it or not, but hopefully they will because this is really cool. It adds a lot of functionality to the phone. Above that, you guys will notice that I have an HTC widget. This shows the clock and all the weather for the week. Um, it's a seven-day forecast. It will show the high and low for the day and also the current temperature. So once again, just really cool functionality, something that makes the lock screen a little more useful than what it already is. Okay, so you guys will notice that I don't have a slide to unlock at the bottom there. What I've changed is that you can now just tap the home button once and that'll go ahead and unlock the phone. And now we're on the home page. So I've completely changed the home screen. Um, you guys will notice that I have the HTC widget yet again. I love it, it's really cool, it's an HD so it looks awesome. Um, but you guys will notice that I only have one folder on the bottom. And that app is called Infinite Folder. And what this does is it allows you to put as many icons as you want, over 12, because that's Apple's limit. You can put over 12, actually, and break that and put as many as you want. So I've added my entire home screen to one folder right at the bottom. And I think that's really cool. It kind of cleans it up a little bit. Um, you know, it just looks really nice. So the next thing I want to talk about is Winterboard, and that's where you're going to change all your themes. That HTC theme that I have on the home screen, I am able to install that through Winterboard. Um, as you saw my icons, I don't have any names on them, and you can change that through Winterboard as well. So those are just little tweaks you can do throughout that app itself. Next app I want to talk about is MyY 4.0. This is a big one. I use this every day. Um, what it does is it allows you to create a Wi-Fi hotspot with the internet that you're already using and paying for from AT&T. Um, I know this feature will come out pretty soon for AT&T. It's already out on Verizon, but you're going to have to pay a little bit more per month to get it. So what this does is say, hey, look, I'm already paying for internet. Why not be able to use the internet that I already have? So it's really cool. You can connect up to five devices. You can name the network whatever you want. You can set a password. Um, just really awesome app. And finally, I want to show you guys my 3G. Now this is an app that lets your iPhone think that it's on Wi-Fi when it's actually on 3G. So this allows you to do FaceTime calls, uh, YouTube videos where will connect a little bit faster. Um, so it's just a really cool app. I love FaceTiming while I'm on the road. Um, obviously I'm staring at the road, but uh, it's just really fun to be able to have that ability uh, to talk to people whenever you need to. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. If you comment, rate, and subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.